Hello folks, welcome to another Bitcoin Market Analysis by Inspo Crypto. Well, today, a uh, stressy day, Christmas, craziness, as usual, every year. That's why I'm a big fan of Christmas. <laughs> no, uh, it's a nice uh, time, but, you know. However, uh, let us talk about what's happening to the market. Let us start with today's uh, economic data. And afterwards, we will um, check what the market is doing. We are going to make a quick overview. Um, today is Friday, so I wouldn't expect anything big. I mean, even after today's economic data, I wasn't I was expecting something big. But once again, it's indicating uh, they the big guys don't want it's it's you know it's a clear demonstration that the markets volume are drive are are driving markets so and who is generating volume that's always the question so usually it's not me it's not you um, only if we would synch synchronize together and you know, make a trade strategy together. So we need some thousands of persons then uh, to drive the market. It's not going to happen because, you know, only the only ones that drive the markets sometimes are pump and dump groups. It's, as I know, the only ones. And we know these guys doesn't have really the best image sometimes. Many people yell they are scammers and whatever but yeah i mean that's pump and dump groups but what institutionals sometimes um, do it's not really different as we know from spy spx you know they push up very hard after they received a very bearish uh economic data or they are not doing anything even if the economic data looks extremely bullish and that's what's happening. Let us make a summary of this week. Wednesday, CB consumer confidence, 101 expected, 108 received. Extremely bullish because indicating consumer confidence is intact. Everything is fine. GDP expected 2.9%. It did 3.2%. Wow, that's extremely uh, bullish because the economy is growing. That's cool. That's good doesn't care today core durable goods orders expected 0 0.1 percent 0 0.2 percent is what we did usually something very bullish because it's indicating that the demand maintains intact nothing happening the only problem here is core PCE price index 0 0.2 percent was expected 0 0.2 percent is what we got and of course, it's indicating inflation maintains high and is even increasing, lifting up, even not big. So usually the market should react and go up because that's something good. But of course, they know, hey, if that's good, it's good for the Fed, but it's not good for us because inflation maintains intact. So usually the price should react to the upside or to the downside but it's not doing anything absolutely anything if we check for example here absolutely anything i mean spy spx not doing anything and usually of course if we talk the problem is wall street launched a very wrong narrative talking about pivot and pivot under the current conditions is not going to happen but markets need money capital like we need blood so if they are not going to print again that's of course not bullish at all now the big question is why is then the market not reacting that's the big question because they don't want and that's another indication it seems all markets at the moment are driven by the big volume 
always. And the question is, who is generating the big volume? That's a big question. However, um, today it was once again confirming us we are on track. The Fed is getting the data he needs or it needs to maintain its monetary policy. If they say, yeah, we will reduce a little bit the, the pace to lift up interest rates, we will go to 50 BPS instead of 75 BPS next time. That's something they can do. But that's the result. Inflation will not go down. And we are talking here about November. That's the November data. December could be even a little bit more bullish because of Christmas. But what will happen next year when people will get the bill of all their spendings from last year? Energy costs, credit card bill, and so on. That's a big question. And I think it's not going to end very bullish. Even, I think, Wall Street will launch or even maintain its narrative, its false narrative. For me, that's still a big trap. Just to unload as much as they can. Let us go and check what's happening uh, to the crypto market. If we can figure out what's happening to Bitcoin. And let us make a quick overview. First of all, the first thing we can see here, bounce here, bounce here, wealth ratio 30 days moving average, pushing up. At the moment we are pushing uh, to 47. Well, it's almost here and that's really um, high as mentioned just um, yesterday, I think. If we check here, for example, 46, uh, we were here and we decline to 46 we were just before very close to 70 70 it's really high so yeah mm. indicating whales are still sending a lot of bitcoins to centralized exchanges also here the big question is if whales are sending all these bitcoins who is buying who is maintaining the price I have, I, I think I know it, but it's, I don't have any proof, but I guess you can imagine. Those who are, you know, they need a certain price to survive and to maintain, still maintain a bullish sentiment. People are talking sometimes about capitulation. I thought last year the market crash we had in April, May was horrible. Today I think it was awesome because it was hard but you know short term. Now the market is bleeding and bleeding and bleeding. We see fake rallies, pump and dumps but you know nothing that is really solid and that's I think a big big problem so if we take a look to the wealth ratio 30 hours moving average we can see what's happening here um, you know I mean the wealth ratio went up declined went up once again it's declining right now we are above of 80 so that's where I usually know that weights are selling much more bitcoins um, to centralized exchanges and preparing something. But at the same time, we can see that they are really trying to let the price go up. And it's not doing, it's not happening. It's really just not happening. So it's, for me, it looks like still um, confirming a lack of demand. At the same time, stablecoin um, reserves on centralized exchanges just declining more and more. And today we had, our, yeah, just like a break, nothing big, just because we received 150 million 
more stable coins to centralized exchanges than outflows. Oh, well, that's the next chapter. So let us take a look. So, and here we are. If I disable Bitcoin, we can see uh, we had here 130 million outflows. A few hours later, 160 million inflows. Price went up. If we check here, 104 million outflows, then 150 million inflows, the price went up. It was volatile, while it went up, it also went down and so on and so forth. So nothing happened. If we disable stablecoins, if we check Bitcoins right now, it went down and now it's lifting up. So 1300 Bitcoins, it's what we received just last hour. And we are receiving bigger amounts, but nothing huge. Not if we are going to, you know, to compare that to other faces, as you can see here, for example. So, yeah, it's maintaining an average and nothing big. It declined a lot and now it's lifting up once again, but nothing, nothing big in series. In my opinion, they are still um, sending more Bitcoins uh, to centralized exchanges to prepare. And that explains why they want to maintain the current price action or the current price level. And every, every time when we are close to 17K, we are getting um, a certain sell pressure. But that's it. That's absolutely it. So nothing big happening at the moment here. Let us go forward. By the way, that's something it shouldn't wonder us because of Friday. So if we take a look, funding rate uh, lifted up all the time. Now it seems it's declining since here it's declining. Nothing big. Leverage ratio pushing up very hard, declined and it's declining even more and open interest doing exactly the same but on a lower level so nothing big happening here of course if we start to zoom out we can see funding rate was went very um yeah went up um from here we can see that's a nice trend and you know, we need to see if it's starting to go down. That could be also an indication that they are preparing the next big thing to the downside and want to, and they want to, um, to go short. So if we take a look here, uh, we can see, let me say, how much is that? Ah, 90 million. So absolutely nothing 90 millions that's absolutely peanuts big peanuts absolutely nothing and in here we have a big amount 330 millions outflow since then you can see the funding rate started to decline so it seems bulls or long longers uh, they started to cash out before uh, some volatility came in. If we check here, nothing. I mean, um, 1,700 Bitcoins inflows was today the biggest to derivative exchanges, but at the same time we had today one th almost 2,000, another, yeah, almost 4,000 Bitcoins in just two hours, 4,000 Bitcoins outflows from derivative exchanges. And also here if we check, that was uh, when the funding rate started to decline. So also could indicate they are cashing out. Oh no, sorry. Oh God. So if we if we go forward, uh, we can check also here. That's the one day time frame. Um, so no liquidations happen. A little bit more longs, three hundred seventeen longs, and only. 117 shots liquidated. Um, 
open interest very flat leverage ratio declining but it seems it's lifting up right now while funding rate maintains you know it went up and it's maintaining there if we check binance on binance exactly the same so open interest lifted up it's declining leverage uh, leverage ratio uh, lifted up declined and funding rate as you see it went up and now declining so if we check blockchain whispers let me just refresh the site yeah they reduced more shorts and more longs coming in so same 64 to 36 and on ethereum 57 to 43 so once again on ethereum looks healthy while on bitfinex shorts maintaining so they are not reducing more let us check what the kingfisher is doing oh no okay let us check yeah great so very close we can go up to 17k if they want to liquidate that cluster here with 25 millions of liquidation so a high leverage shorts then we need to go up to 17600 otherwise nothing big to see here so on binance that looks like so while on longs that here it changed very well it looks like we have more liquidation clusters on the short side than on the long side something i don't know how it works because we are talking about binance and binance is indicating uh related to open interest they have much more volume and longs but as mentioned yesterday um we have instead of 50 millions 40 millions liquidations so it reduced by 10 millions and we need to see if they want to push up to 17.5 and then go down or even go more up that's something it doesn't look like we would do that but everything is possible because also in the weekends we know they can do whatever they want it's bitfinex it's the main actor then they send USDT to Binance to Kraken, mainly to Kraken, Huobi, OKEX, and so on and so forth. So we will see. We are done here. So, as usual, we have Binance Spot CBD here, aggregated Spot CBD here. We have the aggregated coin margin contracts here and the aggregated stablecoin margin contracts here so futures futures spot spot if we check binance looks very volatile up down up down up down so let us zoom out a little bit and then we can see much more market traders were distributing all the time from here they started to lift up just few hundred uh, Bitcoin so nothing big at all only the only ones are coin margin contracts for example and even stable computers pushing up that's the only so spot supporting it mainly driven by futures if we go forward that's Bitfinex what is Bitfinex doing let us zoom out at least not buying at all they are really market distributing they are distributing 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 if we check kraken kraken you know flipped here so it was distributing all the time and then pushed up declined and it's pushing more so that's what they are doing Bybit yeah Bybit not doing anything very flat they were distributing all the time and now not doing anything
and Coinbase, well, were distributing and now lifting up a little bit, just talking about 20 Bitcoins difference, so nothing. And the question is, why distribute? Why market distributing all the time while the price is going up? Of course, Bitstamp once again, let us see, lifting up, lifting up. They declined here, but they neutralized all that. It's at the same level, just like before. I don't know where's the sense to make that, to be honest, but well. And last but not least, we are talking here about Gimini and Gimini doing what at the moment? Nothing. So they purchased when everyone was selling and, you know, and now maintaining, lifting up a little bit, but that's it, nothing big. So let us talk about what entities are doing. Retailers pushing up more. These guys pushing up more. These guys mm, pushed a little bit more up, but maintaining. These guys here declining a bit, a little bit, nothing big. Uh, yeah, market maker entities reduced all the, uh, you know, um, everything they, they added to the balances, they reduced again. So nothing big to see here. If we check here, we can see we were at 4,509,000. Uh, we went up to 4,610,000. And we are down, uh, down back to 4,590,000. So indicating they are sending Bitcoins out of their wallets. While those entities related mostly to centralized exchanges lift it up again, indicating they are getting more Bitcoins. That matches very well to what I have mentioned just before. Market maker entities, the fund flow, 7,000 Bitcoins. That's huge. I mean, the last time they did that was mid of November. And I mean, if we check that here, that was here. And we had here 45,000. So, you know, but nothing happened since then, nothing big. We had the dump, but nothing huge. And now they are selling since few days. They sent 3,800 here, 4,800 4, here. So let us say 9,000 and another seven, nine, 16,000 Bitcoins. That's not that bad. Why the market is not doing anything. So looks like a like preparation. Um, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Market activity declining in more. Miners not doing anything. OTC active at the moment, for example, here and the price went down once again. So the, the, the bearish price action is mainly driven not by centralized exchanges. If we check here, for example, um, well, I mean, the balances declined a lot, lifted up, declined a lot. You know why I told you many retailers were once again taking out their uh, Bitcoins from centralized exchanges like Binance. If we check the net flow, one hour time net flow, we see we are receiving a lot of Bitcoins and the market is not doing anything, absolutely anything. If we check the report, we can see uh, we had in this month minus 70,400 Bitcoins, that's a lot. Why we know we had this issue with Binance and were retailers and, you know, took out a lot of Bitcoins from the exchange. But since a week, we are red once again, indicating 10,000 Bitcoins, more inflows than outflows. And that's the net flow. The daily also indicating 4,000 Bitcoins more in than out. 
not bullish. Absolutely not. Let us go forward. So on Coinbase, we can see um, almost nothing here below. The next one would be 16K while look what they are doing. They are waiting to, I, I guess they are waiting. I'm not sure if they are really just pushing the price down or waiting there um, so they can sell more. And that's what they are doing. Usually they use that here um, just to push up the price and push the price more to the sell orders. But everything else looks unchanged. We got some liquidity at 16k at 15.5. They reinforced 15,000 and that's it. They are even reinforcing lower areas like for example 13.8. Deribit they're a bit uh, waiting at 15.5 and also at 18 they have a wall of 16.4 it seems also another one i'm not sure but it looks like it's 16.5 and that's it so if we check bitstamp on bitstamp 17.5 they removed liquidity 16k and uh, they are now waiting at 15.4 and the biggest one at 15k. So they removed liquidity here, the sandwich is um, still intact, even they removed some liquidity at 13.5 and instead it seems, because it matches, they shifted to the downside at 12.3. Binance. On Binance, it looks similar to Coinbase. Look what we have here. A bunch of sell orders waiting there to get triggered. So it's absolutely different to the downside. Yeah, we have a wall here at 16.5, but the biggest one is waiting at 16K. Well, we received some liquidity at 16.1. Um, if we go more to the downside, also here at 14.2 and so on and so forth. So if we check to the upside, still waiting at 18.5 and almost 20k, also here at 18k. They are waiting with sell orders, pushing the price up. So. You know, maybe some retailers will buy a little bit more and we can sell. That's how it looks like. Bitfinex. Bitfinex. Um, yeah, bringing more sell orders at 18k. And nothing to the downside. We still have this low volume sandwich below 15, but that's it. Nothing big at all. OK spot. Nothing. Kraken spot. Kraken spot. Uh, 18.6. 18k. 16k. And that's it. Absolutely nothing here as well. Bybit. Bybit. Nothing. Bitmax. Bitmax nothing they removed all the walls to the downside and we have a lot of tiny sell orders to the upside so I don't know nothing big at all I mean really nothing big at all but you can see they removed almost everything to the downside Binance Futures, how it looks there. Okay, they removed all the short orders above. Uh, instead, we have here a bunch. Long orders, nothing big anymore. Let us check mm, until here. So 76 to 61. Wow. We have until 176. 
20,000, almost 21,000 Bitcoin waiting to short and only 15,000 Bitcoin too long until 16.1. That's not good. Bitfinex derivatives still waiting here at 16, uh, 15.6 too long. So where I also would expect a bounce, even if it's a dead cat bounce, but 15.6 is our support area. So you know what that means. And another one at 15.8 and that's it. Nothing big here as well. Kraken Futures, Kraken Futures want to short its six, uh, what is it? 17.4, but also here, we need to make that here. And that's it. So limiting the way up to 17.2 and 17.4. They removed even here the long positions at 15.6. OKEX futures also limiting the way up at 17.1. Remove the wall at 15.6. That's it. OKEX swap. Yeah, we still have here uh, the sell order at 20k but that's it we are done here